of the video. This video is courtesy of Rob who asked, could you do a video on importing the data set from Excel and how you set up the metrics on the right hand side to start displaying your slicers and graphs? Thanks. So thanks Rob for the question. So that's what we're going to cover in today's video is how we can import our data from Excel to get us started on displaying our Power BI dashboard. So when you open your new Power BI dashboard, it'll show up like this. You have two options to import from Excel. So inside the dashboard frame itself, uh, you can click this button here, import data from Excel, or under the home tab at the top, you can click on Excel workbook. Um, so either way works when you click on it. And then we know that we need our injury record. And this is actually stored as a CSV. So we're going to double click uh, to import it into our dashboard. And it's going to take a little bit of time to do that. And once it does uh, like this, uh, we can kind of take a look at the data here. Uh, check out the delimiter data type detection, and then we can load it into our Power BI dashboard here. So once the data has been uploaded into Power BI, it's going to automatically refresh on this right hand side here. Uh, we can click the little arrow here. It's going to drop down and show us all of our columns. And we can also click on the left hand side under data view. And that's going to show us the data within each workbook or within each data frame. And if we have multiple workbooks uh, uploaded, we can click the model view and we can uh, create relations between those uh, workbooks. So I'm going to install a couple more uh, workbooks and then I'll show how we can create the relations between those workbooks. So I've uploaded another uh, Excel workbook into our Power BI dashboard called Playlist. So under our injury record, it shows us the player key. Uh, it shows us the body part that was injured and the surface that it was injured on. When we look at the playlist data, uh, data frame, it also gives us the roster position, it gives us the stadium type, and it gives us the play type. So if we wanted to look at the relationship between stadium type or maybe play type uh, or roster position, we need to create a relationship between our injury record data frame and our playlist. That way they know that they're, they're working together uh, to create a dashboard. So the way we're going to do that is on the left hand side here under model view. We know that the common uh, delimiter between our two is going to be either the player key or even the play key. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag player key from injury record and I'm going to drop it onto player key from playlist. Uh, it's going to give us this right here, whether it's a many-to-many -many relationship, if we want it to be a two-way uh, direction cross-filter, and we're going to hit OK. And once the relationship has been established, it's going to show you this little line right here to show that it's matching the two data frames uh, based off of player key. So it's kind of like a join or like a merge. Um, but we're able to do that within Power BI. So if we so if we create a visualization that uses some aspects of the injury record as well as from the playlist, it's able to merge those together, join those two together to create that visualization so everything is interactive. So I hope this video was useful. If you have any questions about how to set up a Power BI dashboard, uh, working with data in Excel or R, please let me know down in the comments below. Thanks.